Hello everyone. So let me talk about today's food pantry video for you. Um, lots going on in the background. I am making bacon, so you're going to hear that popping and sizzling and the air ducts going and all that kind of stuff. So, my apologies for that. Also, today is kind of a, a unique day for our mobile food pantry hauls. So we went to the place where we normally go to for our food pantry. Again, six, six miles down the road, not a problem. However, when we got there, they had canceled for today, which was kind of unique. It was cold, it was single digits, but last week was icy roads and craziness and they still had it then. So, you know, whatever. So, you know, normally you just wouldn't have a food pantry haul because of that, right? Well, today's unique in the sense that um, <clears throat> the older couple, I guess if you want to watch that video, it's linked down below. It's always there. You can check that out and there is all of the details about the mobile food pantry, why we do it, where we do it, how it works, all of that. Please check that video out below. It helps me um, from repeating myself consistently. Um, but in that video, I talk about two older couples that help us out. Well, obviously there isn't one here, but one of those older couples goes to a couple of different food pantries in the area and then takes what they can use and gives us the rest. So that's what they did today. So you're going to see that haul. haul. Also, I've, I've already filmed this clip, so you'll see it um, here in a second. But I also like with these videos to share with you what I will do with them, with the food that given to us. Um, for our meals this week. So I'm going to do that now, but you will see it after the end. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk about what the what I can do with the items that we got today from the mobile food pantry from the older couple that brought us what they didn't need. What? Okay, well here's what came in the food trucks. So we have a bunch of bananas. We have four packages of this vegetable medley and some potatoes. Um, oh, I gave them something in that, so. Oh, how funny. There's some cuties in this one. There are three containers of sour cream. Over here we have a bag of um, orange bell peppers, and this is another bag of those potatoes. There are three containers of this huge thing of coffee mate. Coffee, coffee, coffee. There's more broccoli, more of the orange, whatever. Bell pepper. Bell peppers in there. Two more of those coffee creamers. Sweet potatoes. These Ooh. are apples. Manzanas. And grapes. And celery. And that's what came in food trucks today. I think something like grapes, it's pretty simple to know what I'm going to do with that. These will just be snacks for everyone. Um, like I share in that big video, I share my food with my sisters and some people from our church. So there's that. Um, what else do I have here? We have some celery that looks like it should probably be tried to be used. So looks like there's six here. <coughs> um, last week I juiced some celery and the kids really liked it. I will probably try to dehydrate these and um, put that on my shelf because I don't have any. So there's that more sweet potatoes. I still have three crates of sweet potatoes because we still keep getting sweet potatoes. Um, we'll just add it to the crates and do what we can with it where we've got nobody, nobody wants it. Nobody wants it anymore. Um, and yes, we eat as much as we can, but after two, three, two or three months of sweet potatoes, there's only so much you can do. Um, so, we have broccoli here. I made beef broccoli last night for dinner. That went really well. It took up three crowns. I might do more of that or I might make some broccoli and cheddar soup again because everybody really loved that. That might be good. Um, these work really well for snacks so I'm not worried about that going 
bad. I'll just kind of make a vegetable plate for the kids to kind of pick through. A couple of the apples were bad, so we threw those out. And then I sent a couple home with my sister. These will, again, will just be used as snacks. Um, the coffee made, I took one to um, a friend of mine. My sister's going to take one home. And then my daughter has cleaned one. So there is that. All right, over here. I mean, bananas, bananas are pretty simple. These ones will probably get put into the freezer. And we can use them for uh, banana and peanut butter smoothies. This, this works if you just want to like roast it. Um, we might do some of that. This will just be um, used in that sense. Probably just roasted vegetables for whatever we do. I'm thinking of putting a roast in the crock pot. And then we can have this with that. Uh, I might need to go through and kind of clean it up. So, but that'll be not a problem with that. The potatoes. I think those are pretty self-explanatory. I just use them as potatoes. Take all the plastic off and use that. You have cuties. Again, more snacks. Which is fantastic because the, the hardest thing with the pantry challenge is um, like the snacks and the produce. So that's really helpful. Okay, for the sour cream. Let's see. It's best buy. That doesn't necessarily mean used by. Um, I will put this in the back fridge. I will just, I can put, put one out here. We'll definitely use it up without a problem. I can also use this to make um, the blueberry sour cream muffins that are one of our favorites. So that will actually probably, one probably will be end up using for that because we also have all the blueberries from food trucks in the freezer. And then it, it's sour cream. It's not, it's It'll get used. I might even do like a taco casserole bake because it uses sour cream and because I still have some of that taco chicken from the mobile food pantry. Do you remember that? Like back in April of 2022, I still have so much of that. So I might make that and just make a taco bake with the sour cream and that um, chicken. So there's not a really whole lot like, let me show you a recipe in this case. Um, I will leave down below the blueberry recipe and I will leave down below the taco casserole recipe that I would use so you can check those out. Um, but other than that, everything is pretty self-explanatory. I have been making a video with like all of the different things we've been using the sweet potatoes for. Um, but it's just kind of been added to like there's, it's not done, it's not completed and whatnot. So here you go. Here is this video for today. Thank you for watching today's video. And I will catch you next week. So tonight I went to the once a month mobile food pantry that you could do in the other town. This is what I have. There's catfish fillets, two bags for our large family. This uh, pork loin and this uh, beef hamburger. So that was the meat that was given at this mobile food pantry. Um, I share with my sister and so we grabbed these pastas and she took those home. And then we got some of the great northern white beans, which is fantastic. I kind of need some. I grabbed these diapers uh, for the baby that I sometimes babysit. It'll be nice to kind of tuck away um, paper towels, a box of Cheerios. We did get the flour because my daughter wanted to um, start some sourdough. And so she's going to do it with that. Uh, the juice, the pancake, we kept those. There was more of these, but they ate them in the car. So that was great. Um, there's a couple of macaroni and cheese that we kept. The um, ramen noodle for our size family, we were able to choose four. And then we were able to choose, I believe it was 12 cans, but we only ended up with eight. Um, so I got some of the pears, the peaches, the green beans, and the corn. And this is what I was able to uh, choose for our size family from this once a month food pantry.